previously on Sailing Via. After a false start, we finally leave our post at the marina, cast off the dock lines for good, hold a very formal renaming ceremony, and settle into our new life as full-time cruisers. We are still in Friday Harbor. And there's a gale warning this morning. I woke up kind of early. The wind started really picking up. Pretty morning, but it's blowing. I think we just hit 43 knots, so I am kind of just doing an anchor watch. Uh, we've held really well throughout the night, but this is the most wind we've seen, so I just want to make sure we're not dragging. Luckily, it's not too cold, and I'm happy the sun's out. Poor Chandler is just rocking and rolling. So today was a pretty, I don't know, I had a lot going on today, I feel like. We stayed in Friday Harbor um, in the marina for a night because there was another pretty serious windstorm blowing through. So we decided to stay in the marina, do laundry, get water, the whole thing. Also turns out that Friday Harbor has free Wi-Fi through the whole town, which is a godsend. So this morning I got a bunch of work done and took advantage of that free Wi-Fi. And then while I was gone, Mike saw um, a whole bunch of seal action in the water. They were doing something. They were chasing fish. They were hunting a school of fish. They were hunting a school of fish. So then we set sail. <laughs> well, we pushed out of the marina and then within 20 minutes we got approached by the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, which made us a little nervous and we didn't film anything obviously because I wasn't really sure what the protocol is with that and I just didn't want to, you know. But I think they were just training a new guy. Uh, because they just kind of asked to see our papers and like see that our fire extinguishers were up to date and we had all the safety shit we need and then they took off but that didn't take very long we've only really been out at sea for one week and we just got boarded by the u.s coast guard already so then after they left we went through i think the biggest wind and waves that we've ever sailed in it was actually pretty pretty legit i think what did we see today uh the highest gust I saw was like 35, I think. And I don't, our wind instruments are a little screwed up, <clears throat> so I don't trust that 100%, but I don't think it was too far off. Like it, maybe, it was definitely 30 knots, but it was blowing. 30 knots is pretty pretty serious. Yeah, um, 34 is a gale, so. Yeah, it was, it was windy. It was really but. windy, and it's supposed to kind of stay windy tonight, but we're in this really beautiful alcove on a mooring ball. So we're just gonna chill here, but yeah, it's been a day, man. Having the Coast Guard board us was interesting. They were really nice, but I didn't expect that to happen so quickly. So it's good that we had no violations. No violations. I have a binder which has like all of our paperwork in it on the boat, like all of our documentation. And I like made a cover for it and stuff. And I think they like that. Because it looks very professional. Everything's in a little plastic sleeve. We're very professional out here. Yep. We have no idea what we're doing. So yeah, it's been a day. I'm tired from today. That was a lot of stressful things. really night here actually uh 
is a little bit is a little bit rolly. But the good news is that we were like nose on to the wave, so it was kind of like this. This is the one where you get really like seasick and squishy, and it doesn't feel very good. Um, but either way, it's still kind of rocking. You can tell by our little produce hanger thing here, but um, it's still kind of rocking. So we decided to pick up anchor. It's pretty early. It's like 10 a.m. Um, and we are going to try to make it up to Susha. Neither of us have been to Susha before, but it comes highly, highly, highly recommended by pretty much everybody who's ever been there. So we're kind of stoked to check it out. Wind looks pretty mild. The sun is out. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Susha Island. We're uh, picked up a mooring ball in Fox Cove. I finally came ashore. It's just really pretty. It's all a state park. So there's like really cool little, uh, all these like grassy areas and places to have a fire. Man, it's pretty cool. Probably can't tell this is a big cliff. <laughs> nearby called Fossil Bay and it's called that because there's just fossils kind of everywhere and these are all fossilized tree roots pretty cool I just made that up I have no idea what they are what'd you get I think it's a fossilized clam a fossilized clam so this is Fossil Bay named so because of all the fossils. Wow, that's cool. So I thought I'd come ashore. This is kind of the warmest time of the day right now and explore. I say warm, but I think it's 48 degrees. It's not raining though. I spent all morning trying to troubleshoot our electronics. Our wind instruments are doing weird things. The wind speed and wind direction read differently on different tacks. Our autopilot keeps randomly, like it's weird, you'll set, you'll set the autopilot to a certain heading and then about 20 or 30 minutes later, it'll change course 17 degrees to starboard, like every time. Don't know what that's about. God, it's beautiful here. Susha is such a cool island. And I have, uh, don't like heights. Barely, uh, barely explored it. But so far it's pretty rad. So we, are here and this is where we're anchored we were there last night we may move tomorrow but i don't know where yet where will we go i don't know i've heard you and cove is really nice or anywhere in here i don't know should we just go to the sun let's go to the sun she's having a great time so i'm currently walking up to i think it's called henry point on susha and it's really beautiful I want to show you. First of all, please admire all these tiny baby ferns. Not too shabby. This goes, I think, all the way out to the point. And I don't know, I'm excited to check it out. You get really high up, and there's quite a big drop off on both sides of this little spit, but 
excited to see what the view is up here. Listen, if you're even a little bit scared of heights, this might not be the hike for you. <laughs> I think that's a sea lion. <laughs> what is he doing? Trail just cuts through here. It's a loop that goes back up. But before we go back around, well, this was a pretty good day. We got some work done this morning when it was kind of overcast and windy and cold. And then just in time for the sun to come out, we went out for a little walk. I went on an amazing hike up around that point. And now we're catching a really cool sunset with a thunderstorm off in the distance. You don't see a lot of thunderstorms um, around here. So it's pretty neat. So this is day three on Susha, and we moved anchorages. We moved to the other side of the island. And by some stroke of luck, we have managed to get full blown sun today. The air is still really chilly, but the sun feels amazing. And so we're all just sitting out here. Dogs are out, chilling, eating, working in the sun. And it's not the worst, it's not the worst at all. So I think. We'll probably go explore over there soon and probably have a nice sunset here as well, even though it'll be behind the trees, but lots of sky. I'm sure it'll be pretty. It's really beautiful here. The bay has become so calm. And with the sun out and the blue sky, you know, if you weren't in 17 layers of clothes, you might just for a second think that this was like a really nice summer's evening getting there but for hey for March not bad it's not bad it's not bad
Happy anniversary, Mike. Happy anniversary. Happy meet anniversary. Meet anniversary. Thirteen years. In the thirteen years that we've been together, what is the been your favorite part? This part. This part. Why did I have a feeling you'd say that? <laughs> How did you just fucking do this? You just walked off this? Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. I really feel your pain. That was really a hard one. <laughs>